All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Vinland Saga season two, episode fourteen. In the last episode, we had well the introduction of Gregor, I think is that how you say his name, or Gargar? I can't remember his name, but it's something along those lines, and I will learn it obviously this episode. Um, but yeah, he seems like an absolute problem, uh, being Arnold uh, husband. The vibe I was getting last time was that she he's probably a husband that's on kind of good terms with her just guessing we knew very little about him um and his role in her being her husband at the time thinking after that it's probably something along the lines of they were both sold as slaves at the same time she probably thought he was dead which is obviously why she was so surprised then obviously she met Einar and she probably fell out of love for her supposed dead husband. Maybe start to fall for Einar for a bit. That's the vibe I'm getting, but this is all speculation. I could be terribly wrong, but it's definitely going to be an interesting one. Um, considering that Rick Canuta raid that's on the way to the farm as well. Shit's going to go down. Um, but yeah, as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. I don't know the vibes. I don't know the emotion in her face. She looks scared. What's Einar's reaction to this? Oh shit. Who's Hjalti? I don't know anybody called Hjalti. Sir, put that sword away. What's happening? Gardar. It's a hard name to pronounce. All three of us? I don't know who this person is, but someone tells me they are not of this world. Oh shit, Snake! This is gonna be a fucking fight, let's go. Well, they're going for the kill. Oh! Oh, they fucking chopped the horse! Damn, waste of a good horse. That's a strong horse as well. This boy is weak. He's going to be like a wild animal in this fight. Split his head wide open. Like a freaking log. I respect that snake. This is a fucked up situation. The, the, the D's kind of pronounced like a Z. It's like Garzar. I not. I not. Relax. Boy, relax. This ain't your fight. Oh shit. Uh, no, I don't know if that's the full story. Let it play out. Ask on head. Don't go up against Snake. Can you kill a man? And can you kill Snake? Being the man. The easy thing to do would be on head. What is this man to you? Oh, Snake was ready for that shit. I don't, I don't think this man's coming in alive, I'm going to be honest. Oh, Snake's nice with it. Oh, my God. It's nice to get an actual snake fight. Oh, you almost caught him off guard there. How do you take him alive in this situation? Chop off one of his arms until he bleeds out eventually? Man's built diff, bro. And his adrenaline must be going crazy right now. Did he hit him with the back of his sword? What happened there? Oh, nice. Good fucking job, Snake. Get that weapon away from him. On hit, relax. He took him alive. Relax. Now that I'm hearing it, the D in on sound is pronounced like a Z as well. Yeah, for real. I'm surprised you only let one guy walk him off here. Yeah, the situation would be different had he not done that. It ain't looking good for bro. I'm gonna be honest, Einar. I mean, Snake handled that in the best way possible, to be honest. I'm surprised he actually managed to catch him alive. I really thought he was just going to kill his ass right there because he was a wild animal. Do they even have the medicine and shit to actually save him 
if that was a possibility, like from the knife wound, probably infected. Hey, not chill. Can we get some backstory on this man? This guard, guard is our, please. I don't get the vibes. Do you love your husband? Is he a good man? Is he a bad man? Oh, the son. That one, that must be the one who's dead. How long has she been a slave? Respect Einar as well in this situation. The woman he loves. He All he cares about is making her free and happy. Regardless of his own feelings. Pots? Is that like a... Disease or... Please go ahead. <laughs> Old man just sitting there like, Damn, what the fuck happened outside? Sweden. Kind of looks Swedish, actually. Is that God as well? Damn, that looks different. These are some Swedish looking folks. <laughs> pots and sickle blades. So pots isn't a disease. But it'd make them a lot richer. Mm, sure, makes sense. Damn, he really seemed like a good father. It's crazy looking into his eyes and then looking into his eyes now. Ugh, oh, crazy difference. Tell me these are friendlies. Oh no. Oh no. All these enemies showed up with just women and children? Shit. Oh, this outcome, man. Oh no, the kids. Bro, like on... Probably like two years old. Fuck. That's so fucking messed up. Damn bro, I'm tearing up as well. And he doesn't even know that his son is dead. Wait, is he still alive? <gasps> oh my god. That's a fucking situation. Willy. I hope so. He seems reasonable. Well, now Einar has a reason to stick around. To protect something. There is a literal storm coming. Bro, the shit she has been through. <laughs> oh, that's good. He's still got a kick in him. Oh, is she going to Garazar? Shit, man. She can't hold back the fact that she loves him. Did she go? Maybe not. We can't hell a box stories this episode. Damn, dude. She does not look happy. Oh, shit. Who did that? Oh, no. Did he kill the, the woman as well? Oh, no. History is very cruel. And history repeats itself. So this is Kettle and this is Svetical on the, the horse over there, or next to the horse over there. I think. This brilliant storytelling this season, along with the music that always hits. So freaking good, man. So emotional. Mm, what's she going to do now? You wait out the storm, you'll have regrets. She changed her mind. I mean, she may be able to use the fact that she's got 
Kettle's child as leeway. I don't know if Snake would accept that though. I don't. Snake are working for Kettle, but aren't they more like mercenaries, not directly employed? So, I don't know. Right, so that was season 2, episode 14 of Vinland Saga. Oh god, Aunt Hayes' backstory hit a little a little a little bit too hard right there. Um it that's that's a that's such an awful feeling to watch a mother lose her child, especially a baby. Oh god, that sucks so bad. And it, it wasn't necessarily how I thought it was, the fact that she thought Garazad was um dead. Maybe she did, but it wasn't really relevant to the plot really here. Um but the god as she knew is basically dead. Uh, and she was willing to give up on that until obviously the talk was vertical. And now things have changed. Maybe she doesn't want to have regrets here. Maybe she'll do something drastic. I don't know. Very freaking good episode though. Very emotional. Shout out once again to Aynard as well. Like giving up on his own happiness. Maybe Well, he can find happiness in the fact that Arne Hater was be protected and eventually be free and happy. So, big respect to my man, but it must suck in a way as well. But, obviously, it, it's it's more about the fact that she needs to be happy and the trauma she's been through is a lot. So, we'll see what happens here. I honestly don't know what's going to come of it. Will Garzada survive? I doubt it after all he's done. Even if it wasn't Snake and Co that you know, put him to death. There is a whole other family to which he, Garazara, kind of belonged to, which would be like, no, fuck it, you killed my family. You killed the master, Don, kill him. And they owned him. So, you know, the law, I guess. But yeah, anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this. It was a very good episode, and I'm definitely looking forward to the next. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.